That's mental. <laughs>
support from everyone with with what went on it's been honestly so overwhelming like I, I can't really describe it and I, I knew I've had a lot of people backing me and but to see it on that scale and you know to see just the, the exposure that it got and, and the reach it had and how many people that can resonate with it yeah um, it's been amazing there's been so many people like that are that were even in the team in Glasgow that were sharing it and yeah, reaching yeah. out to me and it's like that says it all and exactly. it's because there's a bigger issue here and a bigger problem and yeah. and so many athletes can as I said can relate to it mm -hmm. um, and we just want what's best and, yeah. and we just want to run you know exactly. and compete not just run but we just want to yeah. compete at the highest level and that's it really you know yeah. so we'll see what happens if anything any change does come from it but I just, I, I, I'm just going to say I want to thank everyone for, again for, for supporting me to the hill and yeah, sure. it's been unbelievable um, and yeah it's, yeah, it's been, it's been so surreal. Yeah. Um, speaking more about like the current situation as well, um, obviously you're based out in Australia for a while that you mentioned. Yeah. What's your current like coaching and training set up? Uh, yeah. Obviously you're back home at the moment, how long are you going to be here? Now? Yeah, so it's just a wee bit different at the minute and this winter I decided to stay home and um, well I stay, stay home I was in Portugal yeah <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to escape the bad weather yeah. um, I love Australia I love Melbourne I'd love to live there one day uh -huh. um, my whole squad is unbelievable everyone's just at different in the winter is obviously okay but just with the seasons and stuff and with, with me doing indoors yeah um, this year we just decided to stay home and it was another reason to stay close to Europe. Uh, just with things being in Glasgow, it was just a there was a slightly higher emphasis on taking away like jet lag and travel and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and Justin, he's going to come across. He's basically taking a, a sabbatical from work uh -huh. to be with us all in Europe um, from like May time yeah. right up until Paris. Um, so uh, the boys will all be in Europe, and I'll just be, I'll be with them more in the summer. Uh, yeah. So that was kind of just the, the the wee reasoning behind it. But my setup is real good. You know, I've got a lot of great people around me, and Henry, as I said, who has looked after me since I was well. He used to coach me for swimming, believe it or not. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was. He taught me how to swim yeah. when I was a kid. Um, Been with him for a while. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Probably 16 oh, yeah. when I probably I first joined him in the squad, and and he's always been there. He's like family, so yeah. it works. It works really well. And as I said, Justin writes all the programs now, and and Henry comes in as a sort of an advisor. Yeah. Um, he knows me like through and through. Yeah. Do you so think that just, relationships like quite important to have, especially going into like. Olympic year and a lot of things going on. Yeah, definitely. You know, and Henry's given up so much his, his whole life for me. Um, yeah. and even I go to Portugal again next month, and he's coming out for two weeks, and he's coming out for crucial fields with me all winter. And oh, yeah. you know, he's given up so much of his. He's retired now. You know, oh, wow, yeah. he should be he should be enjoying life, but yeah. he wants to be with me still. <laughs> so. Can't get away from it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I don't know. The whole the whole setup is great. Um, I am looking forward to the squad getting here as well from from Melbourne. Um, yeah. But the great group of guys around me, and I've got an amazing team, and just yeah. from physios to to everyone, Definitely. whole family, everything. It's just a you know, it's a nice wee setup, and yeah. yeah. That routine of like drills and stuff you do like yeah. every session and do you keep them the same for pretty races? much mate I do the same thing yeah yeah um I mean just some of them I've run from like even 
SSC programs and stuff like that. We've done a few exercises that I've that I've liked, and I just brought that. And I felt good from it, so I just yeah. brought them into like a warm up, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everything's. When you get to the age of 31, eh? Yeah. <laughs> At yeah, a ripe yeah. old age, exactly. <laughs> you kind of have that. your like everything's like ironed out. You kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. Sponsored by Puma as well, yeah. a brand known for sponsoring the likes of Usain Bolt. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to have that kind of backing and support um, like from a sponsor like that? And what's your sort of main shoe sort of rotation then for training? Main shoes, these ones, they're a bit dud muddy now and I love the DVA shoes. I like yeah. my favourite shoes. Um, I kind of do everything in these. Yeah. Warm ups, running them, like long runs I do them as well. Uh, I've actually done some hill sessions in them. Oh. These ones are class. These are fast as hell. Um, oh, yeah. These are the elite ones under the V8s, but yeah, they've got a nice power plate as well. Do they come with different colours? Yeah, different no, pairs? honestly, this is it. They're red and blue. Yeah. So let's say that's when the box came. Maybe they got mine mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, multi colored so nice odd shoes. But yeah, these are these are class. But no, Beamer Puma is like amazing. I signed with them last year, uh -huh. um, which is a uh, was a big relief for me. But I was really really happy to, to get a deal with them. So. Sure. So that'll carry me through for the next few years, which is which is nice. Feeling fast? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, I feel fast. <laughs> <laughs> It's what, real good. What's a typical sort of training week look like for you then at the moment? Obviously coming off the back of an indoor season, transfer into racing on the 400 track again. Yeah, yeah. So um, sort of we sort of have like four big sessions a week. Yeah. Um, like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday are the big sessions. Um, Monday's like pure speed stuff. Yeah. Tuesday's like long aerobic stuff, like 1K reps or uh -huh. a lot of 600s, all that sort of stuff of short recovery. Um, Thursday at the minute is either hills or actually a track session yeah and saturday i know we've changed it today because of the wind but yeah, yeah. it's a blend of sort of uh 
aerobic stuff and, and race pace stuff. Uh -huh. um, and then I'm in the gym a couple times a week as well on Mondays. Uh, Wednesdays I have a big circuit session. Fridays are a nice day off. Yeah. And Sunday's the, 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 the SLR, isn't it? It's yeah, the Sunday yeah, long runs. <laughs> Sunday service. Yeah, exactly. So I'm probably doing at the minute um, probably 50, 55 mile a week. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I'll go up to about 60 mile, but I won't do much more. I, don't, I actually don't count mileage. I just yeah. I nail the sessions and then I see what mileage is at the end of the week. Uh -huh. So sometimes it's 50, 55, sometimes it's over 60. Right, peak, peak, like this sort of phase anyway. And then in the winter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, depends if I do a, if I don't even run or not after a session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's if the mileage is a wee bit higher, but yeah, like I, as I said, we don't really, I don't really count it. We just, we just do the sessions and I see what it is at the end of the week. Yeah. You get your breath back, but first set done. Yeah. How's it feeling? Feels good. Had a lot of 26s, something like that? Yeah, I mean, all the times. 25, 26s, yeah. exactly. 20. It was three 25.3s, yeah. 26 uh, two 26.2s, and then another 25.9. So it's very impressive. Yeah, definitely sharp. Uh, another set to go. Yeah, almost set. Yeah. It's that 90 seconds recovery. <laughs> I feel like I get shorter every time. <laughs> but I'm yeah, I know. to keep up on the bike. <laughs> nah, it's a good set. We're not, I don't usually do this, this sort of stuff at this time oh. of the year, eh? But we're going to be open up in May time, so. Do you know what race size? Uh, race at Barcelona, 18th of May. Yeah, and then I've got three races in a row, so yeah. basically go Barcelona, uh, Marseille, and then I've got a race in Germany, all oh, within about a week. 800s, yeah. Nice. So I want some 400s, but I'll uh, get that Olympic time first, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we'll do some fours. Are you sure? And obviously, um, last season as well, you ran 144.80. Are you sure? Yeah. Does that give you a lot of confidence coming into the Olympic year with the standard of 144.70? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would have loved to have got it last year. Um, it was kind of bittersweet because it was my fastest time in five years, and yeah. <laughs> Those five years I've absolutely been through the ringer, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, and even going into the Diamond League last year, I had, I've had Achilles tendonitis in yeah. both my Achilles for, oh, I had it all summer um, and I had a few other issues as well. But, um, so I was really happy to run that time. But when I saw it was a 10th off, I was just like, no. Yeah, so good. yeah so it was, yeah. it was gutting, <laughs> but at the same time, I was really happy. Yeah. It's what I've worked so hard for to get back. And you do question yourself, like, you know, I've run these times before, but as each year goes by and it's another injury and, you know, I've had five bouts of COVID. And yeah, like, yeah. It's, um, it's absolutely, you know, annihilated me at times. And then you throw in all the, everything else that's gone on. It's like, can I get back to it? And mm. you obviously have that belief, but, when you're running 146s and stuff, it's like, <laughs> am I done, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> thankfully, I stuck at it, and um, it was a huge relief, a huge weight of my shoulders when I did it. And I feel like right now I can kick on and push towards running even quicker and yeah. finally cracking 144, which is what I want to do. Yeah. Definitely, well, good luck with that this year as well. Yeah, and obviously, um, yeah, speaking of your power of 10, I noticed that one of your idols is Bob Marley. <laughs> said, okay, yeah, any yeah. Any chance you can give us a song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the woman will cry. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that um, no, I've got, actually got a tattoo on my arm. Oh, really? Yeah, not like not yeah. NWNC. Um, yeah. It's my and my mum's song. Okay. I was brought up like with a, a huge, a wide range of musical taste. Yeah. Um, thank you to my mum and dad. Um, but she got me into Bob Marley at a young age. Yeah, yeah. 
and like reggae music. So, oh, nice. yeah, so. Are you going to free race music? Or? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's very relaxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I do start, I have a set playlist in there. It goes through everything. It goes from Bob Marley, yeah. the Mac Miller, the Nipsey Hustle, yeah. the Finn Lizzy, yeah. the, the guy. everything, yeah. yeah so. So, ah. I want nosebleed. Got nosebleed? <laughs> And it was the last one. 365 G. That's fine. That's great. It's windy as. Yeah. Ah, it's it's right across the last tired. 80. It's really tired, eh? That's when, a great session. Wind seems to change direction a wee bit towards the end, too. Yeah, it's You're fine with it a wee bit. Short recovery as well. Yeah. Yeah. That is much. Exactly. Well, well pushed down. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a lot of 25s there for that. I saw nose as well. That's yeah. what you can see on that. There's not many people in the world who can do that. Like. Yeah. Not that well. No, well, that's meant to. Exactly. On this track. <laughs> <laughs> this track's <laughs> dead, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. you got to get the Tweed Bang track conversion rate. Right? Mate, so 100%. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's uh, I think I'll come at Crown Point, eh? Yeah. I'll do some 600 metres at Crown Point. Jesus. Yeah, solid session. Yeah, it was good, mate. That buzz in your fingers, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's mid. Yeah, Guy Lerman, session finished. How'd that feel? Yeah, it was good. Um, got the beautiful weather here today. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, at least it's not raining. Yeah. But now the session was good. The 1K was just like a, it's like a prolonged warm up. Um, and obviously some 120s just to get the legs moving. And then it was two by uh, two, so two by six by 200s. Yeah. Um, of 90 seconds recovery, so yeah. taking like 25, 26s for them all, so yeah. yeah, it was good for this time of the year as well. Um, pretty happy with that, so nice. I kind of feel like we've not even came out of race pace mode, but yeah. the phase I'm kind of in, like the next six weeks, is a lot of heavy endurance stuff, yeah. but we're keeping all the race pace stuff in once, once or twice a week as well, so I've never done that before, yeah. so. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, hopefully this year. Yeah, this year's the one, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's my, pr my prima. The guy I've most admired. I've never met him, but um, I have all his training and I love his love his racing. Yeah. His Joachim Cruz. Oh yeah. Um, from Brazil, who obviously 141 guy won the Olympics, and I just love the way he ran and his training is absolutely insane. So yeah, I watched a lot of his races when I was younger and. Yeah, if I can get anywhere close to his times, I'll be yeah, I'll be pretty happy. For sure. Yeah, well, uh, well done today. Solid session. Awesome. Good luck with uh, the rest of the season. Hope you get that qualifier. Nah, cheers, Thanks a lot for letting us come on. Nah, today. it's been quality, lads, and uh, I'll see you in Crown Point in a few months. Eh? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Thanks so much. Cheers, boys. Unreal.